Hey, welcome to this Command Modern Air Naval Operations gameplay video. If you love modern battle simulations, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Command Modern Air Naval Operations. Today we're going to jump into a strike tutorial and go ahead and find that sucker. Nope, we're playing Peeling the Onion. Peeling the Onion is a tutorial you will learn to practice how to assess and defeat a fairly typical defensive network. Although landlocked, you have a small but fairly typical mid-90s USN carrier air wing. There's a squadron of F-18 Hornets, another squadron of A-6E Intruders, and you are supported by a pair of F-14 Tomcats with recon pods and another pair of EA-6B Prowlers. So it says uh, it's not necessarily compatible. High speed, short range strike rudder, fairly limited bomb load, long legged but slow bomb truck. Interesting problem, which complicates your timing. So we'll load it up just to get a look at the briefing. This is worth printing. Okay, it's and I'm not going to get into this in any detail. Um, I've got a printed copy here on my desk, but this is the best part of the scenario, in my opinion. It teach you a bunch. So we're going to cancel, come back out here, and load a save game because this is so complicated. And God help me, it's just a tutorial. <laughs> but it's so complicated that I've set up the uh, start of the scenario. So here we are. But before we get any further in, hey. If you're enjoying this and you haven't subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I've posted another video, like and share, and please, please leave me a comment. Okay, now, there's some really odd parts of this game. I want to change the view. If I click the map lat lawn, what would you expect to happen? You'd expect a grid. But, oh, oh. I didn't get a grid. What did I get? I got the relief flare. So let's click on the map lat lawn. It worked. <clears throat> now it doesn't matter how you do that. If you click on the relief layer, it'll get you the lat lawn. <laughs> it's it's I don't I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I wonder if I click map oh look at that. Clicking it off. I really don't need that. So Let's see, our base, there it is up in the upper right hand corner, blue base, control D, oh lord I can't read it because of the labels, something over 230 miles away from the, uh, from our base, which is a pretty good little reach, uh, come on now, stop that, I've set up a patrol area here, I've also set up a route for our, it's another patrol area, it's a linear patrol area for our uh, F-14 uh, with the recon pod to get a look at what's going on. So let's jump in and see what I have prepared. All right, these are all missions that are predefined, not by the scenario, but by me. The ones in green are going to launch, they're active, and they're going to launch right away. The ones in red and D have predetermined times that they're going to launch. So this A6 patrol, and you see the patrol area that it's going to be in is that one we looked at before with the glide bombs are going to launch at 916. <clears throat> this contingency patrol, which is just another way of saying a CAD, whatever, I'm not sure, depends on what we need. With the uh, skippers, uh, which is another uh, airborne air guided munition, are going to launch at 916. Uh, these F-18s with Mavericks are going to launch at 918. This uh, SEAD patrol, which I expect it to be, although we could use it another way, are uh, with uh, AGM-84 slams, will launch at 915. Same there, it's the same thing, just two, diff two different units. The Ricky, and you can see, as soon as I clicked on it, it shows the route, and 
But we've been through this before in previous uh, videos, so hopefully you've seen that and how this gets set up is basically the same as I could do it real quick. You, you can control, right click, define an area, and there you go. And once you set up a patrol mission, uh, not a patrol mission, a support mission with this, and these things will show this little line, and you can move them around, and and there you go. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, we're going to delete those. Delete sec. Boom. Anyway, there's so much going on, I don't even know what to talk about. We had another rec reconnaissance mission that's set up, but it's inactive, and we'll just fire it up if we need it. And right off the bat, we have these two... Uh, SEAD patrols to come knock off these SA-2s or at least damage them. So you can see there's the target and there's the target. One of them will hit this one, one of them will hit oops, that one. Now what I'll do is those, they will launch along with the A6, EA-6s which will come out here and patrol with their jammers on if everything's done correctly. And these guys, will, the F-18s will hit these, and then I will manually direct them to the hit here and here to come back and smack these radars with cluster bombs. Hopefully then the F-14 will launch somewhere along the line. It'll run its route, and then we'll use these other patrols as needed based on what they find there. Now, I, I, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, God, there's so much to explain. I don't know that I've done this very well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the game is just fascinating and incredibly complicated, at least in terms of all the things that are going on here. I mean, things like this. Uh, mission Doctrine. Tell them to hold fire. They each have a harm uh, that I don't want them shooting at these radars when they uh, first get in range. So I had to tell them, uh, don't fire except in self-defense. Had to tell them to be active with their offensive ECM right off the bat. Um, the reason I'm using these guys the way they are is if I tell them, if I give them a mission to attack these guys, I can't figure out how to restrict, although I'm sure there's a way, I, can't, I have not figured out how to restrict them from using their harms on the radar, leaving nothing but their cluster bombs for these SA-2s, which is a really dangerous thing considering the defenses around an SA-2 battery. So that's the way we're playing it today. So what do you say, rather than sit here going on and on and on about it, we go ahead and start and see if we can make it happen. So let's go to five seconds. Let's go back to the base. All right, two aircraft have already, there they are, taxiing to take off, and so is the two strike birds. So the EA-6s are on their way, the two F-18s are getting ready to go. All right, put that over there out of the way, and let's get ourselves a little bit quicker. Okay, well, once again, there's a lot to read here. Um, I don't feel like reading it. <laughs> Play the scenario. Or I could go pause to read. And pause to read. And pause to read. Okay. If that wasn't good enough, I apologize. There's a lot going on here, and I want to see it happen. All right, right here we've got one of the strike fighters, and there's the route that the AI has planned. And there's the other strike fighter, the other F-18. There's the route the AI has planned. And there's one of the EA-6s that's going to there, and the other EA-6 is going to jump in here somewhere there. It's going to here. 
can't select that. So let us proceed with vigor. And all right, what has just launched? I think our contingency. Now it's kind of fun. You can click on that and see the mission. Patrol A6, Glide by Units. And if you click on that, it opens the mission editor, which is awesome. You can see I've got these guys going to 36,000 feet, cruising and loitering. All that's been set up. We've seen it before. Okay, do I want to go quite that fast? Yeah, let's, uh, let's let her boogie. Well, that's awfully loud. It's time to slow things down. And zoom in a little bit. All right, here come the harms from this bird. This one's almost there. He's almost there. There's the limit. That orange is the limit of his or the range of the weapon. So there goes his. Now, a brief how to do things. This guy. He's got his plotted. He's going to go all the way in. If he's planning to hit him with CBUs, we're not going to have that. Not going to have it. No, sir. So we're going to hit U. Now watch this right here, which will unlink him from the mission. I'm not sure that's actually the, the right term. Let's see. It's been removed from the mission. That's fine. And what I want to do now is give him F3. I want him to go there. And then in that direction. And then I'm going to give him manual orders. Shift F1. I want him to drop those two CBUs on that guy on his way out. And we can do the same thing. Well, oh, I selected one of the... Zoom it a little bit. There's the other bird. Just... Unlink him from the mission. F3. Shift F1. Select those CBUs. Cluster bomb units. <clears throat> okay, we've got those guys all happy now. And we can watch these harms attempt to smack the radars of the uh, SA-2s. Now, the SA-2s may react at some point. I've seen them shoot down these things, but... Boy, I guess we got a piece of that guy. Yeah, we hit him. And... Just to see what happened. One of them malfunctioned, and the other one hit. So we got some damage on him. Don't know how much. All right, keep going. Here come the other ones. Here this guy is now. Yep, he's doing his thing, although he doesn't seem to be descending. Really gotten pokey. Yeah, I've seen it do that. You, this is. Just be brutally honest. This thing is not particularly well coded. This is a very powerful machine. I guarantee you it isn't the machine getting dogged. All right. And I don't know if I've got this attack set up correctly. Let's look. Yeah, there he is. I don't know why he is uh, still saying at 36,000 feet. Let's see. Shift D. He's only got about four miles to to uh, <clears throat> get down there and get him. We'll watch and see what he does. And, yep, that's good there. I've seen these guys have to circle around. I don't know what his hang-up is. I've seen this work really well, and then I've seen it do this. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but we're going to have to force the issue. Yeah, he's, uh, he's decided he doesn't need to do that bombing thing. 
All right, let's pause, shift F1, uh, escape, select him for sure. Shift F1. Okay, it is becoming a hassle. Okay. Uh, let's deallocate. If that's the right thing, let's uh, allocate those guys again and see if he behaves differently. No, I don't know what's going on. I, that, that's, that's the most, let's watch these guys go in. Thump, thump. And it says, missed vehicle, missed vehicle. That can't be good. That can't be good. <clears throat> we're going to have to do something about that. More importantly, we're going to have to figure out why this guy doesn't seem to want to do his thing. Oh, what if I could force him to low altitude? Wow, he is really being. Uh, this is a uh, this is unusual. I really haven't had this kind of problem. This is the uh, most stubborn I've seen. Uh, what have I done wrong? Uh, where's the doctrine window? Have I got him set? No, he's his weapons are good. His weapons are good. Why doesn't he want to hit that guy? Uh, there's another bug. If you hit the space key after opening that dialog, it opens it again rather than starting the game. Oh, now he's decided. It may have something to do with the way I steered him. Let's see. Will he get him? Boom. Outstanding. I don't know. There's stuff either I do wrong or don't understand. Let's give him orders to return to base. Hit the B key. Now, we got an issue here. <clears throat> I need this guy hit again. But I don't want to do it while this guy has yet to hit them or they'll slap that. So we're going to watch. There's another a real interesting. Let's speed him up get it over with. There's a real interesting problem. This guy's on patrol. If I give him orders to attack, if I do a shift F1, he'll figure his patrol's over and go home. And that's not what I want. I want these guys staying up here. So we're going to wait till this guy hits. In fact, we're going to really, well, I don't know. We're not going to do afterburner. Come on now. Are you going to hit him or am I going to have the same problem I had before? Looks like they're going to be a pain. Yeah, he's he's doing the same silly thing. Wow, that's really quite interesting. Delete. Okay. That seems to fix it. There he goes. Get him. Thump. Okay, that radar is done. We hit B. Pause. Now, to get this guy to open up with that harm, I think what I need to do is open up his mission, tell him to investigate contacts outside his patrol area, and go into weapons doctrine and give him permission to shoot. Actually, I think if I do this, he'll still end the patrol, which will be interesting. Let's see what happens. Has this guy even got his radar up? Well, it doesn't matter. His radar is not up. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Well, the rest of this strike is coming in. I think we're going to have to do something crazy, like give him shift F1, fire, Oh, I've run into this problem too. <sighs> because he's on patrol, it's probably the issue. So, 
if we hit U, hit Shift F1, and he still, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Really, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, select target. Add selected target. There, uh, there it is. Weapons release authorization. Uh, inherited radar unspecified. Uh, this is such a complicated game. I don't know if that uh, inherited automatic fire to max range. Automatic fire. Inherited. Do not use weapons in self defense. I don't know, guys. We'll see if that changes anything. It doesn't change anything except this guy's no longer on patrol. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I can't get this guy to shoot, and I've taken him off patrol. So we're just going <clears> to <throat> plot some goofiness here, keep him on station. Obviously, I am not, uh, and now I'm losing my voice. Okay, that's better. Obviously, I am not showing you an expert level of play. I don't know what's going on with that. I am curious. Is my tarp launched? Is that him? Yep, he's on his way. All right, we're going to leave everybody alone. Let these patrols get into position. We're going to let the uh, F-14 go in, and then we'll start making decisions about what to do. All right, now I do need to check that. He's at 36,000. I don't remember what I have him dialed in on. Uh, you know what? We're going to go to 22,000. Yeah, that was noisy. And start the game. All right, now he's hit patrol area. He's accelerated to afterburner, and we're going to see some interesting things now. This will give us a bomb damage assessment. All right. It says medium damage. The interesting thing is in here. What's going to happen here? I've lost F-14s on this run. Yeah, we detected something at the airport. All right. Let's take a look. We don't know. But I can tell you straight up. These are anti-aircraft defenses. Let's slow things down. All right, what is it telling me? SAMs, AAA, AAA, something. And I'm hoping our jamming, our jamming may have solved that problem because, boy, I've had F-14 shot at in there big time. All right, now he's going to come around. We're going to get to see what the Bob damage assessment is there. All right, he's hit harder than we thought. May not have hit the... Uh, the vehicles themselves, but I think those SAM sites are toast. Oh, too much, too much. Let's slow it down. And the F-14 is probably on continuous loop. Don't remember. Let's select him. Right. I want him to go home. Hit him on single loop. That ought to send him. Well, I'll hit him. Give him B. B orders. There you go. He's heading home. All right, now we have some interesting problems to solve. How do we knock out that AAA? So let's look around to find our strikers. That guy's got skippers. That's one of the... 
He's got one harm. He is now. That is. Uh, he's no longer. He's the he's the EA six that. Uh, yeah, I see. He's the EA six that's no longer on patrol. Oh, glide bomb unit paveways. Hmm. Let's see if we can find. Aha, there's two birds with slams. We're going to unlink these guys from the mission. We're going to keep them selected. Let me hit Shift F1. There, and we're going to tell them to allocate two. I want them to dump their load on that mobile SAM. And let's see how that works. Here they come. These are the guys we're looking at. Now we can come over here, view, targeting vectors, all. Oh, there we go. So now we know those are the guys who are doing their thing. They've turned, they're coming up to speed. And they've launched. No, it's not time. I'm ignoring. I'm ignoring. I'm ignoring the scenario instructions because it's pretty dumb. It's not going to work. Okay, these guys are inbound. And take a few minutes, a few seconds really. Now I've seen these guys get shot down. And what I should have done perhaps is launch all eight. We'll see if four can get it done. And we'll zoom in here in a minute. So I can simplify life. Nope. Doesn't care. Just like that guy to clean up the mess. Here they come. We may see reaction from defenses. Slow down. Let's see if we can see that. Ah, it doesn't seem like anybody cares. Got him. And the reason nobody cared is they didn't... Well, oh. Outstanding. I don't know what happened there. They actually... selected a different target. Military aircraft tarmac. Got an airplane. Wow, that was pretty cool. Okay, so we can look and see. Well, what have we killed so far? Look, we got three MiG-23s in that strike. All right, but enough of that. What we need to do now is start hammering these defenses. We got to get these guys out of the way because we got some low-level strikers that are have to come in here later. So, one, let's get back out here. We can see what's going on. Strike fighter. There's another. These guys have got the slams. Where are the other slam? Or they already go home. That's the tarp heading home. Looks like those guys are heading home. We'll go ahead and give them RTB just to be sure. And now we pick the next guy that we're going to use to jump all over people. Those are slams. All right. 
Well, they're selected. Let's get in here and select those two targets. Shift. Oh no, that did, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Back out. Select that mission. Back in. Shift. F1. And let's allocate one and one to that position. Shift F1. Let's allocate one and one to that position. Back on out. Watch the fun. All right, they've got them. Now I'm doing this very deliberately, very slowly. For a couple of reasons. One, I'm not smart enough to do it any faster. And two, we're supposed to be seeing how this works rather than trying to execute the most perfect mission. Great, they, should, they fired those with off-bearing. That's the AI making that decision, not me. But those are off-bearing attacks. All right, sped it up for just a moment. Here come the other ones, the second strike. And how successful are we? Pause. Let's see if we can see any shooting back. Oh, they haven't noticed them yet. Otherwise, we'd be seeing the yellow. Up oh, there it is. Too late. Too late. Okay, I am using more weapons than I need. These guys are doing good and winning prizes. All right, we still have three more defensive positions to hit. And those strike fighters are guiding those weapons. That's fine. Who else we have out here? Uh, this guy needs more plotting to keep him in the game. Also, why is his MCON? Uh, he should be showing jamming, but he's not. I don't know. Uh, what do we got here? Mavericks? No, it's too or No, we're not using Mavericks. Uh, and harms and uh, glide bomb units. I'm liking that. That is two A6s with, I think, four GBUs a piece. Well, we're gonna we're fixing to start using them. All right, let's plot us uh, some mayhem. Shift F1. Try again. Shift. Well, now I got to get back out there and make sure that guy's selected. Yeah, he is. Okay. I'm not sure why. I thought he wasn't because I clicked on the map. That's why. Well, let's see what happens here. Oh. Wow, he went somewhere else. He hit the tarmac. And again, that's the AI making those decisions, not me. Kind of interesting. Right, they've got four. Oh, I've only got one of them selected. All right, back out, back out, back out. This is part of the deal. Just part of the deal. Yeah, I think I've got both of them selected now. Strike one and strike two. Zoom in. Shift F1. Right, I want one glide bomb units there. Uh, shift F1. One glide bomb unit there. Shift F1. One glide bomb unit there. And let's see if he can handle that. I may have screwed up. That might be one too many. 
Now that I think about it, I may have made a mistake there. I'm afraid that we're going to see that they can't guide two. I think I got one of them guiding two, and that's, in fact, you can see he's selected this and this. Uh, let's pause. Shift F1. And, okay, fine. Looks like it decided to ignore me. I think it decided it was, yeah, what it did was say, well, you know, the last one you poked me at is the one I'm going to launch. Outstanding. That's something nice to learn because that was a badly, badly planned attack. Here they come, 12,000 feet, getting in the, getting their, getting themselves in the, the strike position, speeding up. This is the AI doing that. Any second now. And slow it down so we can enjoy the show. Turn them loose, boys. Oh, they're gone. They just don't make any noise since they're not rocket propelled. <laughs> And they're guiding them. I think we can demonstrate that by saying illumination vectors. Yep, now you can see the lasers are illuminating. Which is kind of interesting. They're both guiding the same one. That makes me think that this one's going to miss. Hit. It malfunctioned. It malfunctioned. And hit this one, but okay, well, we got more. Let us hand out some more hatred and discontent. And why I don't have both of them selected, I don't know. Ah, because they are separated. Shift F1. And another one there. Oh, it looks like he's decided to toss another one in this direction without my help. I don't know. Well, let's see what happens. That's what it looks like. It looks like he's reattacking. Yeah, there it is. He's coming back with another one. Strike two, shift F1. Wait a minute, that's the wrong target. Shift F1. Let's throw one in there. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. That's actually pretty cool. And cool enough for me to want to screenshot it. All right, here we go. Well, that'll leave a mark. And he's got a good... Come on now, get him. Ooh, we got Buddy Lazing. Did you see that? That was kind of slick. We're going to continue working this crowd over. Let's get this one... Shift F1, that position. He's got one bomb left. And how are we doing with the other A6? What do we got in here that needs hammering? Tarmac's been hammered. Hangar. Ammo shelter. Shift F1. Give him one. So now we're just working over this position using these two birds. Although I don't know why they're flying so far away. But we'll see. They should, here they come. Coming back around. They're getting themselves set up for the attack. 
At least he is. This guy seems to be bound and determined to go somewhere else. He's lazing. He's got a weapon in the air. Why are you being such a pain? Shift F1. He's got one allocated. Don't know. Guess we'll find out. He's climbing out and leaving. Go back, dummy. If I delete that, will he continue that? Oh, the ammo shelter got hammered. Yeah, we're going to send this guy back. I don't know what his problem is. I think this guy's out of... No, he's got two. He's got one. Now we're going to continue working over the uh, military side of the base. In fact, we're going to go ahead and shift F1 this thing because the other guy is being a problem. I don't know why. Here we go. Here he comes, I hope. This guy's coming back just because I gave him orders to, so I don't know what to make of that. If I hit you, all right, he's put a weapon in. He's got a weapon going. I managed to cancel that guy's attack orders with hitting you. Let me see if we get that. Come on now. You know we want that one. Because that makes everything else work so much better. Outstanding. One GBU left. Got to be a hard target over here. Hangar. Av gas. Hangar. Shift F1. And he's in business. Let's see if we can get this guy to play. Shift F1. Hangar. Allocate. And off we go. Yep. All right. Everybody's lazing. And this is starting to work. Now, really, this is, I, I seriously doubt that this is the best way to do this. I really am, one, it's, I find it kind of overwhelming. So that's part of the problem. But two, I wanted to demonstrate the uh, granularity of the way these attacks work. Here they come. Now, with any luck, these glided bomb units are going to make a mess of these hangars. Oh my, yes they did, send them home. What have we got left to play with out here? We haven't even begun to do missions, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick look. Mavericks. Yeah, I think they're the last of the... Oh, he's still got skippers. Well, let's send the Mavericks... And boy, this sometimes will make you crazy. Avgas. Avgas. That sounds like a good Maverick target. Shift F1. Put two Mavericks on that Avgas tank. There's another one over here somewhere. Right. Shift F1, and the other bird, two Mavericks on him. Now the skippers are guide bomb units also, or they're missiles, they're not guide bombs. Uh, the Avgas have been hit, runway access, runway access. I don't know if they've got the penetration to, uh, to do that. Well, we got a control tower. And civilian hangers. Right. Control tower. Okay. 
Let's get back out here and find the skippers. Seven and eight. Select both of them. Oh, chase the map centering. Shift F1. Wow, he's got four. Let's go ahead and one on the control tower. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Tarmac, space. Shift F1, 1, on the hangar. Well, let's see how those attacks work out. Here they come. We're going to have to design some missions here shortly. In fact, we can do that right now. Let's go in here. Mission Editor. Let's select all of this stop it mission editor and let's create a new strike mission and he's got glide bomb units what I want is the Cluster bomb units. Right. Just two birds. And I want them to go after the military tarmac space. So shift, click all of this, control, deselect, remove selected. I want to ready those birds. And they should launch here shortly. Uh, glide bomb units. Uh, we're going to wait and see how these other strikes go. Because we're, and yeah, it thinks we're done yet because it expects me to be smarter than I am. Okay, here they come. We should have heard the other strike birds are in the air. Here comes a skipper. Ooh, that looked like a hit. And let's, uh, Well, that's not the problem. Is it targeting vectors? I'm not sure. Let's, let's let it rock. Kind of a mess. Okay. Well, mixed bag. Control tower has been lost. This lost. Tarmac space. We got one of the hangars. You have gases in a world of hurt. And we've got. More skippers. Select them. And passenger terminal, cargo terminal, shift F1.
allocate two. And F1. I'm not sure what I just did. Got completely lost there for a second. Let's go ahead and let that go off. And he can RTB. Now, those are the guys that had the Mavericks. They can get out of here. We should have another strike on their way in. Yep. Let's tell them to pick up the pace. And well, does it look like I got that other? Yeah, there they are. Ooh, pass. Don't do this to me. All right, I've had this issue with it going out of its mind. It is really very, oh my God, very clumsy. I was hoping this wouldn't happen in the middle of one of the videos, but sure as heck. <sighs> okay, I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom. And it's going out of its mind. And it's because it moves. Okay, I roll. Lordy, you know, it, it, it's, it's just almost too much work. Lord, uh, this, this is... I may just have to edit this out. Or maybe I'll leave it in just so you can see what the reality is. Okay, we'll just zoom all the way in since it doesn't want to let me zoom without zooming across the world. Now I don't know where I am. I guess we're going to have to zoom. There we go. We're getting so close. Oh, you know what it had to do with? If this thing is hanging, it goes out of its mind. Oh, that's just awful. That's just awful. Okay, here we go. And it was at 30 minutes. You've got to be kidding me. Here comes the strike. With the cluster bombs. Yeah, that's just, just awful. That's just awful. Boom. Boom. Uh, I have no idea if it got anything, though. Those should have been good. The tarmac. Did we get any aircraft? Get the birds on the air, on the tarmac. Well, it says we got 14 MiG-23s, and I'm okay with that. Anyway, so that leaves us with a real quick. We're going to do a real quick and dirty. This is not terribly efficient. But it kind of gives you an idea of what you're into. If you play this, this is what you do. Um, let's create a new mission. No, let's not. Let's select all this stuff again. Let's add a new mission. Strike. Land strike. Let's load up. Our snake eyes. And we got those guys, but we're going to do the snake eyes right now. Strike snake eye. And we're going to select all of this, and then we're going to deselect. Uh. That guy did not get hit, but we'll get them with something else. The military side has taken a pretty hard hit. 
but what the heck. Let's lay down all those 500 pounders there to be sure we get them. Remove selected. Ready selected aircraft. They should be ready to go. And uh, let's first let's create a new mission. Strike. And those are GBUs. Land strike, open. Put those two birds in that. Correct the section size. Select all of these. And I'm going to hit the access ways. 400 liter tank, 400k liter tank, 400 liters. And is there still a hangar? All on the civilian side. Those four targets, move selected, ready these birds, and let's watch it go. Well, I'm glad that I figured out what was going on with all that zoom crazy. I've seen it before. I just couldn't figure out what the heck was causing the problem. But if this thing is down and you start zooming around, it keeps moving the mouse back over here. And it just goes out of its mind. So there's another. Normally, I'd say I want to edit that kind of stuff out. But you know what? That was actually informative about what the heck is going on and might be worth leaving in the video so you'll know what to do with it if you run into it. All right, here they come. And, uh, yep, those are going to be the glide bombers. Looks like they're on their way. Looks like they're on their way. Let's see how that works out. I may have... Yeah, I think I screwed up that uh, particular targeting. But it killed some stuff. Red aircraft destroyed, according to the... Yep, we got some hits. And here comes the big dumb bomb A6 strike. Which ought to be kind of interesting to see. Uh, map settings, turn those off, Let's pause that, let's get in here, let's go to two seconds, let's watch them come in and do their thing. How well did we do? It says it missed 244 feet, 223 feet. Over here, looks like we got some hits. All right, the zoom out. Whoops. And that is control. Control. I don't remember how to get that over there. So. Control shift. I don't know. We're gonna leave that there. I'll figure it out later. Let's uh let's send everybody home. And something just launched. 
Oh, the TARP launch. Well, I don't care. All right, take a quick look at our losses and expenditures. We lost nothing. We burned a lot of stuff. We killed a lot of stuff. 620, 19 MiG-23s. All kinds of SA-6s and SA-2s. It looked like we got all the Avgas. Anyway, there you go. It's been a long, long in some ways rather difficult and awkward video but hopefully this will give you an idea of what you're facing when you try to learn this and believe me i know i don't know it particularly well i'm still working on it in any case i appreciate you watching and i hope to see you again soon hey thanks for watching if you click on that picture of very young was you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment See you again soon.